Hello everyone. In this lecture, we'll be going over object pooling and how the basic idea of this works. Now, the first thing we need to extract from our uh, lesson here is we have this thing called object pooling. Now, let's kind of split this up into two things, object and pooling. Let's take a look at the word object. What is an object? Well, there's something called object-oriented programming, which some of you might be familiar with. And what you've been doing up until this point is actually object-oriented programming. However, the word object is actually replaced with node. In Godot, we use the word node. If you were to use Unity or several other game engines, a lot of the time they refer to these things as objects. So think of an object as simply a node, some sort of node that we can use as an object. Now, the word pooling is kind of, I wouldn't say self-explanatory, but think about just a pool where we put objects into it. And that is basically the idea. So we put a bunch of little objects inside this pool. And now what we can do is let's say we have our game here and we have a player, right? This is our player and our player has a gun, right? This is the gun, I suppose. And this gun has bullets. Now, the general idea of object pooling is we're going to create 10 bullets inside of our object pool before or as the game starts. So we're going to preload, and I'll kind of show you how to do this in code later. But we're going to basically create a bunch of bullets over here in the object pool. And every time I shoot, I'm going to take one of these and use it, and then shoot it whichever direction we want to shoot it in, right? Now, here's the fun part. If I destroy this bullet or it hits something or it goes off the screen, what we can do is take that bullet, let's say it goes off the screen, we can take that bullet and just send it back into the pool. And we can keep doing this whenever I need a bullet. Now there's other features inside of object pooling where let's say we use up all the bullets, well, we would just add more, right? So we can only have, let's say 10 originally, but let's say I start shooting really, really fast and I now need 12 bullets. Well, I would just append another 12 or add another 12 to those bullets. Now, the reason if you caught that, what I just said is I use the word append. And if you don't know, this generally refers to arrays. Now, inside of arrays, we can generally add things or append certain variables or objects, and it'll be kind of static inside that array for the duration of our game. Now, this is very useful for object pooling. So, we're going to head over into uh, Godot in the next lecture, and we'll see how that happens in code. Uh, but yeah, so in this lecture, we've just gone over the basic idea of object pooling, how it works, um, and the general gist of objects versus nodes and pooling. So again, like I said, in the next lecture, we'll be going into the actual code of how to do this in Godot, and I will see you guys there.